Hi guys, welcome to Equisys. Myself Morgan. Okay, through this video for next few minutes, I give you some interesting ways to fight, identify uh, stocks to trade for a month, especially to form option strategies. What would be the expected movement for a next, you know, a couple of week or probably for about months of time? But there are thousands of stocks available. How do I pick that particular stock? Okay, through this video, we're gonna help you to figure out or filter the stock based on uh, derivative market activities okay because a lot of people create contracts it can be a long position it can be short position but let me tell you one thing if someone creates long position then someone is creating a short position but the key is who is creating long position and who is creating short position who is buying call option and who is selling call option so we really wanted to know those things then if we understand that i think probably we can figure out the stocks for the month so uh, through this video we're gonna address both uh, index segment as well as the future segment okay we always appreciate you people to trade with uh, knowledge and discipline ensure that you don't miss out these two words and we we also advise you people to take uh, independent trading decision when it comes to stock market okay let me tell you uh, how to do that First, all you have to do is get into our website first, open your browser, go to www.equisys.com and if you log into this portal, uh, probably you could see some interesting video, you know, the, the, the menus here, about as training and various services we offer and likewise you could see something called analysis. So what you get out of analysis is, see there are... Uh, we, we have taken a lot of efforts in terms of, uh, you know, uh, understanding the stock movement based on equity markets. And it is also based on derivative markets as well as bulk and block deals. So these are the series of videos which we have created. This is our part 5 video. And this is slightly more in terms of derivative markets. Okay, we have already covered about those segments in our prayer videos. So at this particular video, we are going to cover up this. Okay, I I just assume uh, before I take you guys into this video, the participant uh, who should be our target viewers is, you should be in the position to understand what exactly the futures, call option and put option and you should understand what exactly the open interest is all about. If you don't understand open interest, a quick note, anyone who create contract is actually creating you know as contributing to increase open interest say you are you wanted to make you know uh, a future contract as a buyer and i am ready to be a seller so when you and me join together we form a new contract where you become a buyer and i become a seller so we formed a new contract so the open interest for that particular uh, uh, instrument has increased by one likewise by tomorrow if you transfer the contract to a different person then it is not going to affect the open interest so there is no change in open interest because it is simply transferred but a third day if the contracts were closed because i am not ready to hold the contract i exit from the third party then probably and he is also exiting it so the contract the open interest would have gone decreased so as far as this uh, video is concerned i will take you through with respect to this uh, derivative analysis let me give you uh, you know uh, notice once again you really need to have some basic knowledge about derivatives to understand this video better otherwise i still appreciate you people can explore about all other remaining uh, tabs and kindly check out the other videos you know which is about a part one to part four then you get some interesting ways to pick stocks based on equity market this is about derivative markets let me open this particular thing first in index derivative okay if i open that index derivative I, I probably get something like let it get loaded let me check whether the site is okay we got the connection back okay <coughs> Guys, I think this, uh, the site, the page will load like this. What exactly we get this? This will, uh, 
you know giving me an information about on a day to day basis uh, from a participant perspective uh, from which category of people are buying and selling on a, you know in which segment like i'll take one uh, example say 11th july 2016 i get some information so i i filter this based on this category look at this what i get now see on 11th when it comes to future segment now look at my mouse over here i am actually highlighting something called a future segment as far as the future segment is concerned fia have increased open interest because it is positive increased open interest as far as the long position is concerned so it seems on 11th july 2016 fia were added open interest on their long side not a significant uh, open interest is added on their short side because fi is not one person we have lot of fi institutes you know a pack a uh, majority of the fi packs were creating a long position and there very few people were created a short position then who have created a short position probably the 21000 so the 21000 is open interest increased in short side was not created by another fi rather it is created by clients like retail people so it seems that on 11th of july lot of people have created retail people have created a short position but have stronger hands like fi have created a long position this gives me a clue that the fi's current stance in indian market is quite positive or they were already started taking some positions in the indian market so that's one clue but uh, there is no negative here it's not that very clear but look at this call option segment i think this gives us a clear view for us to understand how it's very simple look at this on 11th july someone who have increased open interest is none other than fia today i am sure that lot of contracts would have increased net increases in open interest but those contracts are nothing but a contract those contracts see if 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 i find any 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 contracts where the open interest is increased then that particular contract is bought by fia then who sold that contract retail people it's very simple because they have created a short position they have created a long position so it seems pro account and fi account have increased a long position and who has created a short position 29000 say i am a stronger hand buying a stock and you are a weaker hand who is selling the stock to me so naturally you can expect price to go up so how do i say who is stronger it is true that fi and pros are quite stronger when compared to the retail people but i wanted to know what call option they have purchased so interestingly i recommend you people to scroll down lower and this belongs to when 11th of july and we know that it is a call option and if any in instrument look at this we have lot of filters here so any index call with increases in open interest are nothing but look at this i'm just pay attention here how i going to compare these two tables tables to figure out some interesting opinion look at this as far as the call long and short is concerned we get some clear idea that fi's are someone who is buying and the retail people are someone who is actually selling stock fi has created a long position retail people have created a short position but this trades were in call option but which particular call option look at this some i i i actually sort out the uh, the you know the the call options based on increases or decreases in open interest i got one interesting information look at this a significant amount of open interest build up witnessed in nifty the expiry is 28th july on 11th july significant open interest has increased even at 45 and look at the next month contract 8600 and 8800 let me first open what exactly the nifty is all about now look nifty is right now trading at 8467 8467 is what the nifty move and it seems that the nifty witnessed a gap and started moving out 
during that point of time the market is also indicating that fias were started buying 8600 call option and in fact they were started buying 8800 call option from the next month contract so it seems these guys were you know uh, quite confident about a uh, nifty price movement a nifty they are quite optimistic with respect to a nifty so this is a good way by which we actually pick stocks and it seems one thing clear yesterday some fia have, have actually offloaded their short position they have offloaded it means till yesterday they were having some short position now they are not ready to have that short position they have a short say they have a short position in call option it means they were not expecting price to cross that level if they were unwinding that position it means they have a fear that the price may go up so i just wanted to know what exactly that uh you know level they wanted to move so i take call option with decreases in open interest if i see this look at this the current month contract 8300 8400 so some till yesterday or till few days back the fias were having a limit that the price may not cross 8400 8300 by looking into the yesterday's price action they were started unwinding their view their short position it means now they are open up to the next level it means the price moving from 8300 to 8400 is not a incidental move may be a very planned move may have long way to go so through this i understand that the price may go even up to 8700 to 8800 for next one month so this is how the interestingly not just for the index move guys we can also take something like you know um we can also pick stocks based on the next one which is called as stock derivatives here you can identify the company name even so how i do it i i go back to this uh, things once again say i take 11 july 11 july almost everyone is buying fi is not significant i cannot take any call here clients were buying and some fi is were creating short position it means the fi is were slightly creating short position here but it is very difficult to understand what position it is because everything is seems to be the same numbers so here it is very difficult let me see if there is any clue the pre- prior days again it is slightly difficult here because almost everything is positive then we don't get a clue say if it is uh, 7th of july okay see how we generally work is you know uh, the moment you see uh, uh, the stronger hands buying then you should ask your quest, uh, self a question who is actually selling that and if you find the answer that the retail people are selling then you should expect price to go up and that is what the basic understanding i have when i take a decisions so you know um, ensure that whether this people have uh, overbought or just buying and who is buying all these things you can get if you start understanding these two tables you know together if you want any details about these two tables uh, you know going forward feel free to contact equisis at any point of time we we see how we can actually support you people and uh, if there is any other uh, doubts you are most welcome and that this particular video is as i said is meant for someone who wants to practice this a uh, derivative segment generally derivative segments are good till the expiry so any views which are generated out of this holds for a month of time and you can use this for creating an option strategies as well and we we also you know appreciate uh, if you can share this video to your friends or anyone who is actually interested or you can share it in your facebook or any of the interested uh, uh, profiles and uh, once again if you want to contact us you can contact us here and note this point if you start doing this analysis one day is not you find the result kindly do this consistently over a period of time about 2 to 3 months do not trade instantly first understand the market trend by following this about a uh, one week or a one month then if you find something significant then take it forward thank you happy trading